Machine. Hey, what's up with it, y'all? Welcome to my podcast, Cold Narratives. I'm your host, Iceberg Green. About to let y'all hear some of these cold narratives. Check it out. When you think of black people, you know, y'all out there in the world, when y'all think of black people, what do you, what comes, what's the first thing that comes to y'all mind? When you think about the black Americans here in the United States that fought for this country since the Civil War, what is the first thing most people think about? I'm going to take a second. I'm, I'm going to let y'all gather y'all thoughts. But I'm going to focus on I'm going I'm to get to this. But basically, entertainment. When most people think of us, they think of us entertaining them in some form or fashion. They don't look at us as people with a lot of integrity that fought for a country that are American and represent what an American is. The first thing that comes to their mind is some form of entertainment. They don't see us as people that fought for this country. See, and that's the mindset, you know, um... I can't remember exactly who said this quote, but it's once a slave, always a slave. And that's the way this world see black people. No matter how you look at it, they still remember that we were enslaved. White, Mexican, all these people, they know and remember that we were enslaved. And not a lot of people can say that, even the ones in Africa. Not a lot of them can say they were enslaved. And no matter what, in society, wherever we go, they gonna remember that see because we can accomplish whatever do all these great things you notice they always bring up slavery all these other groups they don't have to worry about that conversation we do and the fact that we've always had to fight since the beginning just to get something and we got a lot of people out here that just don't want to fight you know I think um a lot of people are starting to get on the movement and understand that we, you know, this is our land, we're here, um, and we ain't going back, you know, go back where. But um, with that being said, you know, they, they look at us as um, serve, people here just put to serve. And it's messed up, but that's just what it is, man. And we got, we've always overcome it, though. Don't get me wrong, we stand tall. With the bootstrap or without it, it we's gonna stand and you know stand above and high or you know we gonna over we gonna exceed any limits there are, um, and they know that. So the mentality is let's keep them informed and you know that they will always you know this is a big part of their life, and it's bigger parts of our life, and that's why they don't want to give up reparations. Because they know that this is what what some people would call a takeover. Not everyone is going to spend their money wrong in a place where they can't benefit from. And, you know, it's sometimes it's not even just about the money. They just don't want to see black people with that. You know, it's, it's a lot of people that just don't want to see black people with reparations. Even our own black people don't want to see us with reparations and that's sad so when i'm looking at the news i'm watching the media because i don't the white media they always gonna send mixed messages and weasel they gonna do it but we have to stand firm on the fact that this is our land this is what we fighting for and we're going to continue to fight and if people don't want to fight don't let them detour you there's still a fight there's still a fight if you read about history, we had a bunch of fighters, people fighting for a cause. And I don't mean fighting. We had those people that was with the revolt. We had a bunch of those, too. We wasn't no suckers. I ain't going to make it seem like we was just all enslaved. No, we were some soldiers along the way, a whole bunch of them. And with that being said, they know all this. Do you think they don't know the history better than a lot of us? They the ones who got the scribes and all the hidden, you know, all the stuff on America so they know that and they know what what we would do they've seen it over the time what we would do with an economic base for ourselves. um and that's what reparations does and they not I'm telling you everybody I talk to I lose friends because I have this conversation so why why don't it because people be like oh I didn't have a slave I didn't own my family 
our fight is not with you, ma'am, sir. Um, it's with the federal government. They were the ones who enacted all the policies and laws of all the mass incarceration, all the Jim Crow, all the redlining, all the stuff you can think about that kept a black man down, a black woman down, a black family down, a black child down. Everything you can think of, they put in place. But what I will say, most of the people that's fighting for reparations, they doing good. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm not out here struggling, doing bad for myself and just saying, oh, give me reparations. No, it's just do. It's old, man. And it ain't no statute of limitations on murder. And it was a million murders committed. And people, they, they let live after getting people murdered like the, what's the lady? Uh, Emmett Till, I can't think of her name. The lady that passed, they let her live. Until she was dead. After everyone knew what she did. So I don't want to hear this uh, democracy. Uh, all men are created equal. It's not. That's not a fact. That ain't, that's not a fact. Can't no one come to me and say it's a fact that all men are create, created equal. Especially when it comes to black people. You can't say it. So my conversation is this with everybody. Why don't you want to see black people get reparations? Question mark. It's important for you to understand our struggle that we've overcome in so many ways. If you're a listener of mine, I want you to look at your family. I want you to look at your history. I want you to look at your family members and look back. Think about back in the day, all the people that fought for you to even be where you are as a black person, because it was a fight for us. A lot of families, they can't tell no war stories. Of, oh, my my family had to deal with Jim Crow. We had to we couldn't even go to the bathroom. No family can tell their kids that. We can. So think about that when you talking about reparations and what we uh, are owed. There's not no handout. A handout would be all this money buying given to these immigrants. That's a handout. All this uh, money given to Ukraine, all this money he given to Israel, those are handouts that cause mass murder. They're not giving them, you know, oh, we're giving them money. Y'all giving them guns and ammunition um, to do what they're doing. And it's happening all over the world. People are starting to actually wake up and say, hey, hey, hey. We need our reparations over here too. Y'all, y'all done committed atrocities on everybody. Those Europeans back in the day, them Spaniards, all that stuff, man. Them uh, Port Portuguese, they all them, man. They did damage. And here we stand. But you know, I I, I want to point out also that we got a lot of other groups that they trying to tie in to Black American movements. They not with us, y'all. So when you see people claiming it's black excellence. A lot of them don't want us to get reparations. So if you hear someone say, oh, black excellence, say, what about reparations? If they still yelling at black excellence shit, then roll with them. But if they like, oh, no, we need this. We need programs. We need this for college. We need uh, debt. So we need this. That, that's not it. Simple question. Reparations with a check. If they go back and forth and, and want to wrestle you with it, it's over. It's over. Just slam them, put them on ground, and make them tap out. Because they not with us, man. They not, man. If you have, I'm telling y'all, have that conversation with everyone. Talk about reparations. If you don't feel black people are old reparations after all the history books, and even the kids feel like we old, even a new generation. I talked to a few people. You know, I got. And, I'm back in school, you know, just to mention. So I'm around a lot of the younger generation. Even my professor didn't mind reparations. But, you know, um, they sometimes they just want to get on board when they see a real strong black man pushing an agenda. And this is my agenda. Reparations is part of my agenda. Besides bettering myself, bettering my community, getting, 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 keeping it lit. Reparations is part of that. And, and like I said, if I don't get it, I don't care as long as my people get it. See, that's the problem. People are like, oh, the ones that ain't going to get it, they seriously don't want black people to get it. But the ones that are that are possibly going to get it, 
if I'm not one of those people, I don't care as long as my people get it. Cause I done read too many history books and I done been a victim to all the, um, mass incarceration, all the, the, uh, stuff that they done did to society. I'm, I've been, um, part of that, but also let me include, I beat the system. I didn't receive it. You know, that statistic they talk about recidivism. I beat that. Didn't go back. See, so they can, one thing about me, I'm putting my, uh, put my money where my mouth is because I, I'm not just going to sit here and talk about change and all the stuff. And I didn't change. I changed for the better and it feel good. Change feel good. Y'all just throw that out there. Feel it. It's excellent. Um, but with that being said, change also needs to happen in this government. You see Trump, you see Biden, none of them are likable. Neither one of them. There, there's no candidate that I'm even seeing that's fairly likable. Everyone from the lyrical, 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 they didn't see where my mind is. The liberals, conservatives, Democrats, Republicans, what are they talking about? Uh, healthcare still, student debt. Who, if you give us reparations, we can pay all this shit. They talking about this, uh, housing, all these shit that's going on in the world. You give black people reparations, you ain't got to worry about no housing. We'll get houses. See? And they know that. These are facts, y'all. You telling me if black people don't give reparations, we not going to go buy a house? We not going to buy somewhere for our family to live? And we out here on the streets? I, 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 that makes no sense. So they know why they don't want to give and people know why they don't want us to have it. Reparations. I'm talking, but, um, to get back to my black people, we, we definitely have room to improve. Don't be no hater, man. Don't, don't turn into no hater because we have an opportunity and people pushing for reparations. I'm hearing it in conversations everywhere. Now I'm hearing it. And, I've been a firm advocate for it. Firm. I'm talking about serious. I hate to say this, but like I believe in God, I believe in, in reparations, man. So some people, they'll be like, huh? But I've, I've read too many um, history books. I've dealt with too much impoverishment. I've dealt with the system, systematic oppression. I've dealt with all these things and overcame them. So I want to see the people um, that didn't overcome it, that couldn't overcome it, get a chance to overcome it. Reparations will do that. And black people sticking together and understanding that that is a need. You know how they say God gives us what we need, not what we want. And that's what's about to happen because God knows we need that. And I'm, I'm, you know, um, I'm putting God in the um, conversation because I believe in God. So don't knock me for that. I'm not no preacher. I'm not here to preach. I'm just telling y'all my belief. And you have yours. I have mine. This is a long conversation I want to have with y'all because it's been a minute. And I know um, it's a lot been going on. I don't um, consider myself uh, the answer to everyone's problems. But I am the suggestion to everybody's problems. Okay? So if people are in the suggestions, take a few of mine. And embrace your culture, black people. And if people, now like I said, the conversation, I've lost so many friends when I started talking about reparations. I'm not about to wrestle with nobody over the fact of slavery, of uh, Jim Crow, of systematic oppression. I'm not about to argue with nobody over that. Because they got a little piece of the pie and they feel like we not it's not happening no more. Oh, it doesn't exist no more. Yes, it does. So I'm in on that note. I'm going to land this jet on that one. You understand me? Y'all have a good one. This iceberg green with them cold narratives. Yeah, I'm out of here. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I also want to say God bless those going through the struggle. And make sure you watch out for them cold narratives that the government trying to push on us, y'all. And to all my black people, I will be nothing without y'all. God bless you all.